Okay, so you have yourself a GE Cafe microwave, and most likely you got this with the set. You spent a lot of money on these appliances, and then your microwave touchpad stops working, which is this is the second time it's it's happened to me. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. You're going to start by unplugging and uninstalling, taking down the microwave. Most likely hangs above your <clears throat> oven. So you're going to take it down, unplug it, and you're going to take all the screws out on the side. So there's a screw there and a screw there. And then on the other side, take out the other screws there's one there one down there one right there you're gonna come to the top you're gonna have to take out this screw and this screw all the screws that you see all the openings for screws you're gonna have to take them out you're gonna take off this little plate here show you that and you just it just held in there by one screw then there'll be these little clips on the side you'll have to unclip them in order to get this casing off you'll also have one more screw right here with a, a little router with this little guy that helps keep the plug in once you take all your screws out, you'll be able to remove this. So this will have to sit down in there when you remove the casing. Let me just pop these last two out. Make sure you uh, keep your screws in a safe place. Don't want to lose them. For the casing, you can kind of just start wiggling this loose a little bit. It slides back. Okay, so here's the inside of the microwave. Obviously, this looks all really confusing to most of us. So the way you're gonna fix this is, it's a very simple fix, actually. The hardest part is installing the microwave and then reinstalling it when you're done. So after you have your casing off, I'm gonna get in close here. There's two little connectors down here. I believe it's just this first one, but I went ahead and uh, disconnected both of them. So as you take off your, your paneling here, you're probably going to notice that this first one is raised a little bit or disconnected. That happens from all the vibration and movement within the microwave during use over the, over the, the months. So if you push it back in, you'll feel it click back into place. Now, this is really important here, so, so listen to this step especially. You have to disconnect this connector completely and then just let it sit there for, you know, 15, 20 seconds, completely disconnected. So you have to remove it completely. And then I went ahead and did the back one as well. I'm not sure if you have to do the back one, but I went ahead and did that as well. So I removed both of those completely and then you have to reconnect them. Uh, you'll feel them click into place. It's a, it's very simple. You'll understand it when you get a better picture and you're actually looking at it on your microwave. But again, I'm going to back up here. So you see the side. This is the right side of the microwave if you're looking at it from the front. And then I'll come in. And then it's these two connectors at the very bottom here. So this one and then the one right behind it. Disconnect them completely. Let them sit there for a minute, be safe, reconnect them, and then go ahead and put your access panel back on. Once you do that, 
and I'll, I'll do it so you get a better visual here. Power back up a little bit. When you when you reconnect this, you'll see that you have to get it so that it slides on and connects to this part right here. You'll just feel it slide on. Additionally, you can see this little clip here. This one here. And this one here. And this will also slide onto that. And you'll feel that as well. And you can see it on this side, how I missed it there. Much easier when you have two people feeding it together.